Hey, Annie, uh, Dennis Feidner, uh, see if I want to go. So, hey, um, I'm on a different screen than I showed you the other day. So I'm on my project screen. And so there's a button right here that says, you know, jobs. So I'm going to set up a brand new job here. Um, you know, you get a couple names here. Um, is it being bid? Has it been refused? Am I in contract? I just make this current. And these are customizable by you. So is this a restaurant job? You know, is it a medical? Is it a, you know, manufacturing? An installation kind of thing? But you pick what kind of job it is. Um, you know, we'll pick who the client is, etc. So I'm not going to go through the rest of these fields. Like, and then, you know, what sales tax certificate is it in? What income account do I want it to go in my GL? Uh, who are my contacts on this job? So you have all the contacts. The nice part is, is um, who is the architect? Uh, who is the lender? That may not make a difference to you, but for liens, it may. Who estimated it? Who sold it? And who's going to be the project manager? So I can run reports based on, on that information. Uh, and so, and then the other thing is a bunch of dates, when I got the plans, when I signed the contract. So you can track all that within there. So that's how I set up a project. I want to get out of there and show you one that's already set up because uh, I, what I think you're going to be in, interested in is what is at the bottom. So this is a job that's been ongoing. So all the information has been filled out, but across the bottom down here, uh, if I want to look at the bid items for this job, I can click that and these are my bid items that I had. If I want to look at my budget for this job, all of the tasks or work items that I have and my budget for material and what have you, um, hours that I budgeted for each of those tasks. Uh, if I want to look at all the purchase orders written for that job, it's a mouse click right there. If I want to, if I subcontract it, and I'm not sure if you will or not, but if you had subcontracts, what subcontracts have been written for this job? What invoices have I sent out to my, to the owner? What's the status? And what payments have I gotten from the owner? So all that stuff's right there. So the nice part is, if I go back to purchase, well, let's go to change orders. That's my favorite. Let me close this real quick. And this works on any one of these. But if I go to change orders and I forget what this change order is about, if I click, just double click that, it'll bring me back to the change order. In this case, I can see it's for tile. Uh, we requested 22. Yeah, they approved 21. Here's where I requested 22. They approved the 21. Um, if I had pictures attached, there would be pictures in this clip paper clip right here. So everything going on with this job, you know, and again, you don't have to be a rocket scientist here. If you can get to the job, then you can find out just about anything you want about that job. Um, I'll get out of there real quick. The other thing I think you're going to like is um, I'm going to bring a one job cost report here. And again, I can't remember exactly how large your jobs are, but this should come in handy. And so what you're looking at here is what we call our job status report. And so my original contract, then I have a bunch of change orders that got approved. So I now have a new contract of 91000 These are the items of work that I had identified to be done on the job. Uh, I'm just going to go to this column right here. This is my total cost that I have for, in this case, uh, whoops, let's go, we'll go to this one. We'll go to rough framing right here. So this 6100 rough framing uh, material, my budget was 5300 This month I spent 376 and so far I spent $815. Well, if I double-click that, Oops, get my mouse working here. That's how I spent $815. I spent $257 with Yardbirds and three invoices with Mead Supply uh, for this amount. But I can see where my money's going. I don't have to go to a file cabinet look that up. I don't have to call the accounting department to look that up. Uh, I can just drill back on that information to see what's going on. So anyway, 100 plus cost reports, that's one of my favorites. So that's projects in a nutshell. But I do subcontracts, change orders. Don't know how big your jobs are if you get into RFIs. Uh, we do an hours to complete analysis and a bunch of different reports down below here. So, And I can customize these desktops uh, to look the way you want so that the individuals have the information they need uh, to have at their fingertips without having to go back through this menu. Once you get this up and running and you customize these desktops, that basically this is what you see when you come in in the morning. We just hide that menu because everything you do is right here. This is the project screen. Um, this is my payroll screen, if I'm doing purchase orders, this is my purchase orders. Uh, this is where I would, you know, do that. If I want to enter an invoice, an AP invoice, I click it. So if I'm the AP person, this is where my, this is my screen for the day. 
if I'm doing payroll, then this is my screen for, for when I'm doing that. If I'm working with clients and setting up new clients, then this is my screen. So lots of ways to make this easy to use, and that's what we help do. So anyway, hope that answered the questions you had in your email. Hope you're traveling safe, and then please call me when you get back. Thanks.